Hey guys, it's Russell Tussle, and welcome back. Today we are going to be starting our second playthrough of RimWorld, attempt number two. Uh, I only got three episodes in before uh, my entire colony wiped. We were killed by a herd of rabid deer uh, that wanted revenge after we murdered their family for food and clothing. So, <laughs> here we are, starting over. Um, so I have beaten more or less the game, like the story mode, or one playthrough on Alpha 13, uh, starting with a crash-landed scenario, but it, it was on Phoebe Chillax Base Builder. Uh, so we are going to do Cassandra Classic Rough with Permadeath again, uh, and like before, I get three rerolls for a colonist as well as a starting location before I'm stuck with whatever it lands on. Temperate forest flat. Mm, let's try to let's try to get a different biome. Arid shrubland. So that's one reroll. Ooh, year-round growing. I don't want flat though. I like mountains. Small hills, tundra. <gasps> growing period never. Okay. Uh, so let's reroll one more time, guys. All right, desert flat oh but it's kind of like a temperate desert well this is the one we're stuck with guys should have just took the temperate forest oh my goodness do you see all of this skill incapable of fighting fires because she's a pyromaniac all right we'll take it all right amelia um dr villain <laughs> Okay. I'm capable of hauling. That's just not going to fly, Dr. Villain. Ooh, that's not going to fly either. So that's one. I'm capable of dumb labor. Not going to fly. So that, that was three, right? No, that was two. So we had Dr. Villain. We had that one. Nope. That was three. Oh, God. I should have just kept... Oh no. Okay. That's one. That's two. That's three. All right, so we have Engie the engineer, who is a foundry apprentice that became a combat engineer. She is incapable of firefighting, but she's, because she's a pyromaniac. Uh, she's also psychically sensitive. So she's good at a lot of different things. Shooting, animals, construction, crafting, those are all really good. How old is she? She's 72 years old, 133 chronologically. We have Addie the Minstrel, <laughs> who can't do skilled labor or hauling. Oh my gosh. So he can't mine, grow, construct, can't cook, can't craft. He's a pessimist, so he's always in a bad mood. But hey, at least he can walk fast, and he has asthma. Oh, she. Sorry. And then we have Jerry, a.k.a. Jerbear, <laughs> the spy. Oh, my God. Who's capable of doing anything intellectual, which is fine because we have Engi. Engi and Addy can do that. Uh, he loves the heat, which isn't going to work out for him because we're in a temperate desert. Uh, and he just hates drugs and alcohol. And he's slow. Okay. So this, this is our starting condition, guys. The three of you awake in your crowd sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Oh gosh, so not a lot of growing areas. We start right near the most dirt I've ever seen on a desert map, so that's good. Um, I wish it was more mountainous, not gonna lie. So that looks like a structure inside there. And then we can harvest cacti. 
uh, for wood. All right, so I guess we're gonna build right where we land. Oh, and we start with a Labrador named Citrone. Someone on groups definitely an algae. All right, who? Oops. All right, you have a shooting skill of ten, but he likes it more than you do, so he's gonna get the survival a rifle. All right, everyone's locked and loaded. Oh, I didn't realize we could name them. I kind of like the names, Jer Bear. <laughs> I still can't get over that. That's the best thing ever. Um, okay, so work. You're gonna be able to mine. Oh gosh, so Addie like can't do anything. So she's basically the doctor, the animal handler. Uh, she's not gonna hunt. Oh, she can cut plants. So she's basically just gonna make art, research, talk to people, and doctor them when she needs to. Um, which may actually work out, having a dedicated research person. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, they all have an interest in being a doctor. Alright, I'm gonna enable that for everyone then. It's always good to have a primary doctor and a backup, I think. Because if your doctor ever gets injured, you need someone else that can heal them. I've been in situations where my doctor, like, I had one go-to doctor, and that was about it. And then he got super injured. Like, I think he lost a hand and a foot and needed surgery to replace them. And he was killed on- he died on the table because I didn't have anyone else that could perform the surgery without- without killing someone. So, highly recommend training at least two- two physicians. Okay. Um... So we'll leave that as potatoes. Now, will this be two different things? No. How do I... Oh, delete zone. So, I like things to look pretty and be functional. So, I think... We might separate them a bit. Have, like, a walking path. Because you can make paths later. Even if it's not entirely practical, at least it looks nice. <laughs> Right. Alright, so potatoes will grow there. We'll do corn here. I'm gonna start right away with cotton. So we can make clothes. Because I think that was a mistake last time. Wait, what is everyone's growing skill? Four. Can't grow. Two. So we can't even make strawberries. Hmm. Jeez. Um, smoke leaf. Is that essentially weed? A leafy plant cultivated for its psychological effects. Smoke leaf leaves can be prepared into joints. <laughs> oh, that's that was great. Okay. Um, jeez, I don't know. I have no idea what to build here. So there are different trees. A strong hardwood tree, slow growing, but its wood is very strong. What? So what you build stuff out of determines the strength of what you, like the tree determines the strength of the wood. Is that, did I read that right? I don't get what the difference is. All right, we're gonna try to grow oak trees. I don't know what else to grow. And we probably need the wood until we learn stone cutting. Um, and then we'll do... Gosh, what should this be? A little 8x8 field. This should probably be another crop. We'll do rice. Okay, so that's taken care of. Oh, and then we need a stockpile 
in a dumping zone. I don't know why I called that. <laughs> anyway, and then we need a small structure. I'm just gonna go ahead and build it right here. Actually, build it right there, we'll leave. Sometimes I like to surround whatever I build with some flowers. Make it pretty outside too. Oh, we have two builders, that's good. Look at look at Addy doing absolutely nothing. Alright, I think I'm gonna build a research bench, like right off the bat, before I even build beds. So Addy can be useful. Let's haul this stuff out of the way. Alright, research. Stone cutting right off the bat. I already signed work, right? Yep. Okay, we also need beds. I might not even have enough wood to build a bed for everyone. And a floor. Um, and then we will also chop down these cacti for wood. Does she prioritize cleaning over research? She does. I'm kind of okay with that. I mean, if she cleans things, they'll look nicer. Alright. Alright, I'm not gonna train rescue, because I don't want him to attack stuff. I just want him to rescue people and haul food. Or rocks. guys are being a little slow with the uh, planting pincushion cactus. Okay. Oh nice, she's planting trees. Oh no, we didn't build beds. Oh well. Not that big a deal to sleep on the ground the first night. I think after all this is built, I'm just gonna let them plant stuff for a day. Because we need to get all the crops going. Well, it seems like he's building and she's not. They both have construction. Oh, he doesn't have grow. He's going to. He needs to. Oh, we don't have the materials. That's what's going on. See, because her joy is pretty much maxed out, she didn't stop working.
Our planning takes literally forever. It's a lot slower than I remember it being. Oh, I guess Addy claimed that bed. Well, the good news is we're almost done with stone cutting. Then we can build the rest of the structure out of all the stone that we have. Which is primarily great and sl great. <laughs> it's primarily slate and granite, not great. I mean, it's great, anyway. What need defenses? Meh, we've guns. Oh, they leave little footprints in the sand. Look at that. That's super cute. I really appreciate that. Alright, so we have stone cutting. The next one we're gonna do. Let's just go right for microelectronics. I mean, it's gonna go pretty quick with a dedicated research person. Gosh, we're already on day three. Oh, they already cut down all the cacti. Come on guys, plan a little bit faster, please. Just a little. Just a little. <laughs> Visitors, tell them to get the hell out. We don't we don't have the orange cliff people. Okay. That's actually a pretty fitting name considering this is a desert area and they probably possibly have like adobe houses or something. Maybe they live in an orange cliff. All right, who's the most social? Not you. All right, Addy, time to be useful. Uh, so we can buy pemmican from them. Not selling components, that's for sure. We could buy, we could buy some weed and beer. <laughs> okay, no, goodbye. Goodbye. There was like a market value button. I wonder what that's about. A chunk of spacecraft has fallen nearby. Oh, you know what? The, the very, very first time I played this game, the, uh, so originally by default when you went to structure, and this was before there was a tutorial, everything was preset to steel. So I didn't realize you could right-click on stuff to build things from a different material. So I literally built everything out of seal. Like for the, my first like three games, I didn't understand that you couldn't build stuff not out of steel. And it, I was just like, this is the most difficult game ever. I don't get it. And then I finally figured it out, and it was, it was wonderful. <laughs> so happy. Because this is a really good game. I like cannot sing enough praises about this game. Ooh, Jerry wants to name it Kulin. Kulin? Kulin. Let's name it Kulin. Kiel. Kulin? Alright, people have got to be going a little crazy sleeping on the ground. Surprisingly, not that crazy. Pretty crazy. Are you with your bonded person? Oh, you haven't been taught obedience. Where's everyone going? Oh, they're, they're going for a walk? Oh, they're deconstructing the spacecraft. 
that takes priority. Deconstruction of something. Oh, you know what? We also need to build a stone cutting bench. Uh, where is it? Stone cutter's table. Which means we are going to need I'm building this like with within mind of where I want to build walls, which is why that's in a weird spot. We need wood for that. So porters, chop wood. I'm just gonna Alright, get all these cacti. I don't want to uh, unassign him yet. Because I really want his growing to increase. God, hopefully we get like a farmer as the wanderer. We're on day four. Oh no. A local iguana. Where is it in relation? Oh god, it's close, guys. Oh, you have a gun. You have a gun. All right. Iguana. Nice. Eat that thing. Is it Fallout that you can eat iguana? Iguana bits? Or like iguana on a stick or something? No, I think it's iguana bits and squirrel on a stick. Right? Oh yay, we're done planning. And chopping wood can be can commence. The wood chopping. So is stone cutting considered crafting? I think it might be. Got it. Angie's just gonna have to do everything. Oh, you know what? We can both help out with plant cutting, the chopping trees. All right, guys, I'm, I feel it in my bones. Today's the day we get this stuff finally done. I'm not nearly as productive in this attempt. Right? Do you guys concur? I think maybe I went a little overboard with... Oh, you know what it is? It's because I don't have any skilled growers, so they're really slow at planning stuff. I think that's what happened. Everyone's chopping wood. We're almost there. So I'm assuming, even though they look like full grown trees, I'll get more yield if I wait till they're 100% grown. I'm assuming. Don't know 100% for sure if that's how it works. Now is she not, is, is chopping wood different than cu cutting plants? It might be. Gosh, she's almost done. Nice, okay, so we have all our beds, finally. Come on, stone cutting. Do we not have the materials for this? <gasps> Yay, wanderer. Me, or my. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Oh, look at that, guys. Can't grow or cook. Awesome. Uh, a depressed shooter. Okay. 
That's gonna... <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Uh, mine... Let's see. Yeah, sure. We can do art. Why not? Uh, handle animal? Sure. Jair bear. Need building materials. So we don't have enough wood, Jair bear? Where are... Our... Here's some cacti. Oh, are these alpacas? No, those are llamas. No, drum, drum dairy, drum dairy. I don't think I've ever. Encountered whatever the heck that is. Distant cousin of a horse can go weeks without water. So it's a camel. Oh, it's a camel on an alien world. Diet liquor. <laughs> okay. Uh, leather amount 39. Life expectancy 45. Oh, they have a kind of a high market value. Maybe we should try to tame some. To uh, maybe just one male, one female. Oh, they're all pretty old. Alright. So they can be domesticated pretty easily. It seems. All right, we'll go for the 23 year old. Oh, there's a 12 year old one. Oh, and a six. All right, we'll try to get four. All right, come on, someone cut wood so that we can build this. So I can start building walls, guys. Minor break risk. Oh no. Oh, the person that just joined. Impressive, naked, <laughs> ugly. It's an ugly environment and a little pain. Ugh. No one give, you don't have a gun, do you? Oh no. She has a pistol. She has armor too, but no pants. So that's interesting. All right, seriously, there's no one chopping trees? Oh, okay. They're chopped. Come on, someone build a bed, please. We don't need that person to go cray cray. Oh, me, me stole Jer Bear's bed. Okay, it's fine. Jer Bear's still going strong. <clears throat> Wanderer joins relationship. Oh, Mia's relationship with the colonist. She's Jer Bear's ex-wife. <laughs> okay. So that's, that's probably why Jer Bear's sleeping on the floor. Okay. It's it's starting to come together. I'm piecing it together, guys. Well, guys, I think that uh, this is where I'm going to end this episode. Uh, so once again, my name is Russell Tussle, and this is part one of attempt number two of RimWorld Alpha 15. Uh, so please like and subscribe below and I'll see you guys uh, in part two. Hopefully this colony can pull through and we won't all be wiped out like last time. Thanks for watching.